I haven't worn a fully buttoned up shirt in a really long time and I just felt like today was the day. Today was the day. Uh, hi, welcome back. I've been receiving a lot of requests for an updated favorites, makeup favorites video. And I figured, um, I figured I'd do it because I actually have some. <laughs> So I might as well share. So first up, something new that I've really been loving is the new um, One Size Secure the Glow face primer. It's a tacky hydrating primer. Oh, I thought it was like a, I thought there was something having to do with a serum, but maybe that was just in the description. But basically it's a primer. It's, it's really, it's cute. It's got the little like separation, which just kind of gets me because it's just like, it looks nice. You know what I mean? Like there's something satisfying about that when you pump it out and then you mix it together and you put it on your face. But basically it's like a nice lightweight, kind of feeling serum. You can't even, it feels, it literally feels like a, a, like a skincare serum. And as you kind of smooth it onto your skin, it starts to, you start to feel a little bit of that tackiness. It's nice and hydrating without being like oily at all. There's no oil, oily feeling. It's got a nice like slip to it. It kind of creates like a really, really silky feeling on the skin. And just like the more you work it in, I don't know how well you can like, maybe you can, hear that? Can you hear that? Hold on. It just starts to get like a little bit tacky, which is like exactly what you want if you want your makeup to last. Like if you want something for your foundation to really like glom onto, that's a gross word. Stick to so that it's not sliding around. Um, I've really been loving it. And it's like a, it's a nice kind of like sheer hydration. So it doesn't compete with my skincare. Like I can go ahead and do my usual skincare um, and then go in with this before I apply my foundation and I don't get any like problems with pilling or like building up too much hydration in certain areas, you know, which is usually a problem for me. Um, yeah, I've been pretty obsessed with it. I've been really, really liking it. It's like relatively new to my routine, but I kind of instantly fell in love. So I don't know. It's worth checking out for sure. If you have been interested. Uh, next up is another like new ish thing. Uh, I talked about this in a video. I don't, what video was that? I don't remember. Actually, to be completely honest with you, I've been filming a lot of stuff recently that I haven't even like put out yet because <laughs> I'm just like editing through things. Um, so I don't know if it's up, but in some video somewhere at some point, I was talking about how I wanted to hate these Summer Fridays lip oils because I was like, who cares? Like I'm so over lip oils. Like, I was just so, um, I wasn't even gonna try it. Cause sometimes when I, I feel like oh, I'm not gonna like this, I'll just put it to the side and I'll give it to a friend or give it away or donate it or whatever. Um, I was gonna do that, but I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll just like give it a shot. And as soon as I put it on my lips, I was like, ooh, I love that. I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> uh, am I wearing this one? I think so. Soft mauve is the color that I'm wearing right now. Wait, soft mauve? No, 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 just kidding. I'm wearing blush dreams, which is a little bit, it's like ever so slightly warmer. This one is what I'm wearing. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Love, it's so delicious. And it does have a little bit of that like um, plumping tingle, but like so incredibly slight, so slight. Cause usually that kind of thing turns me off. Um, but yeah, I just like, I love it so much. I can't stop, I can't stop wearing them. My go-to lip recently has just been like any lip liner. If this makeup look, by the way, is not up yet, it will be very soon. Um, Cause I use it obviously in the tutorial. Uh, and I know people are always asking about my lip combo. Uh, but yeah, I've been really, really loving that. Uh, I want her to come out with way more com um, colors. I need way more colors. Cause I think I just got, I think, I don't know if this is all they have, but she sent me three. So these three, I haven't used the dark one yet. Uh, I've mostly been using these two. Oh, maybe there was a red one. I don't know where that is. Gorge, stunning formula, obsessed. Can't get enough of it. Like, oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. I actually wish that she had a clear one so that I could just wear the clear one around. That would be kind of nice. Yeah, had to mention that. Love it, love it. Totally worth it. Love like the applicator is super nice. The formula is so delicious. It's not sticky. It's um, mm, like, somewhere between an oil and a serum. That's what it feels like for your lips. Like it's not sticky like a gloss, like there's no stick at all. Uh, obviously it's the lip oil. So like, it's not gonna be like ridiculously long lasting, but I have found that as it fades, it just looks beautiful. Like it just leaves like the, a really beautiful, like hydrated kind of like tint to the skin, lip on your skin. 
Your lips are skin, right? Um, I'm obsessed, love it. So this is also relatively new, um, but I can't get enough of it. These are, I have two of them. Um, Smashbox recently launched their Halo Sculpt and Glow palettes. This one is Back to Cali and this one is Pink Saturation. I think they have four shades, four different palettes. Um, they have two for like more medium to deep skin. Um, and these are probably more like fair light skin, but they're so pretty. Like I love the colors that they chose and basically like, oh my God, I almost dropped that one. What it is, is it's like a, um, how do I hold this? Bronzer and contour, uh, mostly bronzer for me. And then you have a sculpting blush and then like a blush that's supposed to be like the pop on the cheek. I'm actually not wearing it today, but it's inspired. It's inspired a lot of my makeup looks. Um, just this like whole idea. And then obviously a highlighter. So what you do is you kind of like use this to sculpt your cheekbones, sculpt, you know, shape, and then use this to kind of like build up the definition of your cheekbones up like a little bit higher, but blending into your, um, into that shape. And then you pop this on the, apples of the cheeks and then obviously finish with the highlighter. And it's so beautiful, especially this one, pink saturation, like these two blushes, so gorgeous together. I love, I just love the combination because you have like a more peach warm and then a slightly more cool toned pink and together they're just like so incredibly flattering. Yeah, I'm obsessed, just love. The formula is really, really beautiful. They're super creamy, like really, really creamy feeling, but they're powder um, and they just like glide on the skin. I wear this often, <laughs> See, this digging through my duffel bag right now. Um, I wear this pretty often as like a just on the go, sort of like no foundation, just like sunscreen, a little bit of concealer, and then like this on my face. And it just like, it looks so, it's so easy and it's so beautiful, I love it. So if you've been looking for like an all-in-one kind of face palette, there's, that's an option, that's a good option. Sorry, my ear really itches. Uh, I recently started going back to filling my brows with powder first before I finish off with like a brow pen um, and with my soap and all of that. And I've gone back to recently two, two separate brow powders to be like the base of my brow color. So I have Anastasia Beverly Hills Ash Brown, which uh, you probably will remember from like really old videos. Um, it has two separate little like sections here, one that's a little bit lighter and cool toned and this one's a little bit darker and slightly more warm. Um, so this one, and then also, where did it go? Also from Model Rock Cosmetics, those like weird brow pencils that I use, the, the blonde, this is the blonde shade. Um, so these two powders, just like these colors, I use basically as like the base underneath my brow. Let me know if you want an updated tutorial, although it is in this makeup look, basically. Um, but I've been using that, that recently because I kind of missed, I don't know, I've been looking at a lot of like photos of Hollywood makeup and particularly like celebs and um, obviously celebrities are in Hollywood, what? I really love how like defined a lot of the brows look and they usually use at the very least a powder, um, if not like a powder with some kind of like, I don't know, finishing brow gel depending on people's brows or like, um, something for more detail, like a brow pen. And I've been doing that combo and it's just like so beautiful. Um, and I just kind of love how like soft the brow powder looks underneath the brow pen rather than using a pencil, which can sometimes look a little bit harder uh, and slightly more waxy. Kind of just depends on like what you're going for. Um, but yeah, I've just kind of like been loving a brow powder again and I would say like when it comes to brow powder, I'm not super picky about the formulas. Like these are both completely fine. They're not like anything particularly special, but I really love the color combo. So I'll kind of go in with the blonde like all over and then go in for some finishing touches, especially near the tail with this and then finish off with a brow pen. Um, so yeah, I don't know. If you like the way my brows look right now, you might want to look into <laughs> a brow powder. So I've recently returned back to, I like this video because like a lot of, a lot of the, these products are going to be me returning back to products that I loved and kind of like moved on from. Uh, and now I'm going back to them, but the Rare Beauty Concealer. I, I loved this so much and I have the shade uh, 170W, which is perfect. It's a perfect like match to my skin tone, but for brightening. And then also 100W, which is way lighter and also warm. 
Uh, I like to use this for like a lot of brightening in the inner corner and like slightly on the outer part of my eye. But the formula is so nice. It's like, it's like a really nice, it's got great coverage, but it's not so full coverage. It's somewhere in between. So um, I feel like it's just very versatile when it comes to different skin types, because it's not super duper matte, but you can really build up that coverage. It just depends on like how much you use, to be honest. I'm the, I think the only thing about this concealer is that I don't love the doe foot. Like I really am not the biggest fan of the doe foot, but I usually just put a little bit on the back of my hand um, and I'll apply it with a brush and then blend it with a sponge. You guys have seen it, but I'm just like, I don't know. I've just been going back to this recently and I've been loving the way my under eyes have been looking. I feel like I started experimenting a lot with different concealers and I was getting to a place where I was really hating my under eyes because I felt like none of them I could really like rely on and this I know I can always rely on. So you're probably gonna be seeing this in a lot more videos um, just cause I know it works for me. It's real good. And I just feel like my under eyes look so nice and bright today. <laughs> um, and I woke up not with bright under eyes, not even close. Next up is this powder blush from ColourPop, Flamingo. You've probably seen this in a bunch of my videos. I'm obsessed with this blush right now. Uh, it's just perfect. It's so light. I'm wearing it today um, on top of like a lot of other blushes. It's a whole, it was a whole blush day, okay? But this blush is so nice. Like it's so incredibly flattering. I love the pop. It's definitely more on the cool toned side, but it's not too cool toned. Uh, it's got like a little bit of that hot pink, so it really works. It's got enough of that saturation. It's something that I've been using when I use like slightly warmer cream blush on my cheeks. Uh, I'll usually go in and kind of like set it at the end when I do like the rest of my powders with this. And it just creates this really beautiful dimension to the cheeks. This is kind of like what I was using before. It actually has similar vibes to this combo. In fact, I kind of wish that this pop uh, color was a like ever so slightly lighter, which is kind of where like Flamingo comes in. Uh, but it's such a good blush and it's ColourPop, so it's cheap, you know. Uh, I don't know, I always appreciate that. So this is gonna be kind of a go-to blush for me. Kind of like the same principle of the Smashbox palette. Even if I'm using a slightly wearing, not using, wearing a slightly warmer like makeup look, eyes and whatever, um, I'll use this it, as well as like a slightly warmer blush. I think I just said that. I think I'm repeating myself. I don't know, I've been talking a lot today. Sometimes I just don't, I don't even know where I am. But yeah, I've really been liking it. I don't know, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just like, it's been a go-to blush. I've, I'm in my blush era, I think. <laughs> this is really random. So I was on Sephora and um, I bought recent, well, actually, I might as well, should I talk about both of them? I guess I'll start with the highlighter. So, this is another product that you've seen, the Sephora uh, Colorfully Luminizer in the shade Iced Pearl. This is just such a beautiful highlight. I was on Sephora and Sephora Collection is something that I'm always like intrigued by because um, they have some like really good products. For instance, um, the Gel Serum Concealer, so good. Like one of my favorite, absolute favorite everyday like no makeup makeup kind of concealers, sort of like on the go. So I picked this up because I just thought that the, I thought it looked really pretty. And it's a little bit more pink in person than I was expecting it to be, but it's very, very finely milled. And it's just so pretty. Like it's just so flattering on my skin tone. It's really great for fair skin in my opinion, because it's, it's got a decent amount of peach. I mean, um, pink, but there's also some peach in there. So it's kind of like a combo. Um, there's like a yellow, there's like a yellow gold kind of pearl with a pink pearl. So it kind of combines to create like a, a peach, but the sheen that it creates on the skin is so beautiful. Like just so incredibly sheer. Um, it really gives you the, let's throw it back real quick, glow from within, okay? It gives you that. And I really love it. I just, I've been loving it. So it's been kind of been my go-to highlighter. I'm actually not wearing it today. I always do that. Whenever I film like a favorites video about certain products, I'm never wearing them. I'm wearing the Summer Fridays though, so you can't yell at me. Um, but you've seen it in a bunch of my videos. It's, it's gorgeous, I absolutely love it. And uh, that actually led me to, wait, you don't go there. You go there and then you go here. How dare you? That same shopping trip, uh, online shopping trip uh, to Sephora.com, I came across this contour. Now it looked very different on the website. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be so dark and so gray. It's very dark and gray, but it's very sheer. 
Again, like very, very soft. It's very, very soft. So like it's very easy to shear out. Now this isn't a color that I am going to be using for my cheekbones. I think it would look so dead if I did that. It's like a little too dark and way too like, way too cool toned. Um, if you're like very cool toned and you need something like this, that's almost like on the purple side, then, you know, this might be for you. Um, I do, I just wish it was like a little bit, I wish it was a little bit lighter. What I use this for, this is like one of those sleeper products, like the Bare Minerals Well Rested that like I use all the time, but I don't talk about really. What I use this for <laughs> is when I'm go, okay, this is so specific. If I'm going to an event or if I'm going out to dinner and I know that it's gonna be a low light situation, I will use this underneath my jawline to snatch that jaw, okay? And it works perfectly. This is not a daytime product for me, okay? I'm not using this in the daytime, but at night, it really comes through. It really comes through. So if you're looking for something that's gonna like really create that shadow, because like even, you know, using my Anastasia uh, Amber, Ziva is like just knocking stuff off of my desk right now. Excuse me, ma'am, can you stop? Uh, using my Anastasia Amber, even using my Etude contour, which looks perfect, it's perfect for my cheekbones. When I use it on my jawline, it can just look a little bit like too warm. Cause like, let's consider again, sun, you know? <sighs> Your shadows are gonna be more cool toned. If you're using an orangey color underneath, like where the shadows are supposed to be, it can look really like unnatural just as unnatural as it would look if I was using this as a bronzer on my forehead. You know what I mean? Like you think warm from the top, cool from the bottom. Um, so this, especially at night, just kind of like, if I'm really trying to like amp that up, that effect up, then this is the product that I go for. It's just like one of those things where I bought it and I was like, oh shit, I'm not gonna end up using this. And then I tried it a few times and I was like, now I can't live without it. <laughs> All right guys, that's it for my like current favorite makeup products. I have products that I'm like really excited about that are new that might become favorites, but I don't wanna talk about those yet, obviously because like I haven't tried them <laughs> or I've barely tried them. It takes a lot for something to become like an absolute favorite, you know? Uh, I also had the idea to do my like videos on my favorite lip products. And I was thinking about um, splitting those into like my favorite lip products and then my favorite lip liners, like doing them separately. Let me know if you would be interested in that. I know I get a lot of questions about what lip, like my lip combos, and I don't really branch out that much. So <laughs> uh, if I did a video on that, you would have all the info, okay? Oh, this is actually a really good question. So, okay, somebody asked me, um, they have very nice skin, but deep, dark under eye hollows. They said they don't, Need, like or need to wear foundation every day, but need to conceal their under eyes. Um, they said, should I be wearing mid coverage so I can blend it better with my natural skin? Yeah, you're like right on track basically. So it is really difficult. <sighs> you have to find a balance when, you have to find a balance in your coverage when it comes to like, okay, this area of my face needs coverage, but the rest of it doesn't. Cause obviously if you do what I do underneath my, did underneath my eyes today, when you're wearing no other foundation, it's gonna stand out like crazy. It's gonna look like wild. So the best thing to do is to go for lighter coverage, obviously. So if you are going, if you wanna go for something like more mid coverage, um, make sure that you're implementing a little bit of a color corrector. Uh, that's gonna help like amp up your coverage without it looking crazy um, or like too much. So you can use a really, really light amount of a color corrector, something to kind of like warm up that area so that when that color, when that concealer does go down, something that's like, basically your skin tone, it could be a little bit lighter. That way you don't end up with that gray tone um, and just make sure that you're using small amounts of each basically. And then for the concealer, since you're gonna be using it underneath your eyes, I would just suggest using it in just a couple other places on your face. So maybe like if you have a little bit of redness around your nose, just like a tiny bit around your nose, tiny bit here, tiny bit on the chin, you know, like a couple little spots in the center of your face to brighten um, so that you have some cohesion throughout your face. That way you're not having to wear foundation all over your face. You don't feel like you're wearing a ton of makeup, but it's still balanced, you know? And that's not to say that you can't use a full coverage concealer. You totally can. You just don't want to build it up like a lot, 
you know? Like you don't want to go full glam, like really, really heavy coverage or anything. In fact, you should probably be using a full coverage concealer if you have very dark under eyes. Uh, you just don't need to use as much as much product. And then um, it's kind of the same thing with your powder. Whatever powder you're using to set, tiny amount, tiny amount just under your, under your eyes, maybe like in those little areas of your face where you used like a little bit of that concealer to brighten and that's all you need. All right guys, I hope, I hope answering that question was helpful <laughs> for some of you. Um, let me know if there are any videos that you need me to film around that subject. I feel like I filmed quite a bit. Uh, I have a video on light coverage concealing up here that might be a little bit helpful, but it's also focused on like light coverage products, but you can kind of use the same tips, um, you specifically, specifically who asked the question with a full coverage concealer. Thank you so much for your questions. Continue to leave them so that I have something to respond to at the end of uh, each of my videos. Um, I hope that this video was illuminating for you as boring as I felt it probably was. Um, I hope somebody found it interesting <laughs> and I'll keep you updated for sure as I like add to my favorite makeup products. Uh, and let me know if you need like specific categories. I just decided to pick the ones that I like haven't spoken about things that I felt like I needed to like update you on. Um, but yeah, if you want me to go through every category, I can do that too. Yeah. Uh, all right guys, thanks so much for watching. Farewell. Where's my remote?